Hi everyone, I'm Tang Kim. In this video, I would like to share how to calculate 95% confidence interval and p-value for odds ratio uh, from 2 by 2 continuous table. In the previous video, I showed you how to get odds ratio with five different methods. In our program, the EPI tab function uses uh, Fisher's exact method to calculate p-value for statistical test. Let me show you how to get it. So standard error uh, is square root of 1 over first cell frequency plus 1 over second cell frequency plus 1 over third cell frequency plus 1 over the last cell frequency. Right, then the lower limits uh, can be calculated the odds ratio times uh, exponential minus um, dot s dot imv 0 0.975 times uh, standard error. Okay. This is uh, same as this one. And we can use this formula for upper and need to change minus 2 plus. Right. This one is the same as this one. Then p value from uh, Fisher's uh, exact method. Uh, as you can see, same data. So in Fisher's exact test, we assume that these yellow cells are fixed and these cell counts are not negative, which means uh, equal or greater than zero. So we can think of this this case. So it can be zero or uh, 48 because the this is the uh, highest number because 48 is fixed. So let's think about all possible combinations. So x is 31 and k is this one 48 and n is from this one 140 and uh, capital N is from total sample size so uh, while we fix this one we can think of different numbers for x so t2 sorry 3 Until uh, 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 zero, x can be zero, right? Uh, as I mentioned. So uh, based on this condition, let's think about comma one frequency, the cell uh, uh, location. So in this case, so uh, it should be uh, seventeen, one hundred nine, and two hundred seventy nine. Okay. So we can use uh, 48 minus and 32. Okay. So once x increases by one, the 2,1 here, uh, this cell frequency uh, will get smaller till uh, zero, right? It cannot be a negative number. So this is the the last combination when x equals 48 then this one uh, 1 comma 2 cell frequency can be calculated by n minus x okay and 2 comma 2 is 279 minus x minus 2 comma 1 minus 1 comma 2 So we can apply this uh, formula for other cells. Okay. Right. So uh, 
for uh, Fisher's exact test, actually it uses hypergeometric distribution. So we can calculate probability uh, from hypergeometric uh, distribution. In Excel, we can use hypgeom.dist. Then there are four numbers we need to specify. Sample S here, comma, uh, num uh, number sample from K, comma, and population S, this one, comma, and total population here, comma, and uh, true. Now, first, K. Okay. And we can apply this formula for other series. Okay. So uh, let's check whether uh, 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 probability is uh, equal or uh, smaller than uh, this probability. So if the cell probability is lower than this one, let's give a one. If not, let's give uh, zero here. Right, as you can see from this one cell, uh, it shows it satisfies this probability is uh, lower than this yellow cell probability. And zero, and zero, or so. All right, then let's get uh, p value from all uh, possible uh, probability. Sorry, there is must be a fixed number. Okay. Yeah. There is cell probability which is high uh, lower than uh, this one. So p value is sum if uh, range from uh, this one uh, comma criteria as one. Uh, some range from uh, cell probability here All right uh, 0 0.038 so this one is from this one so uh, the same as uh, our output. So again, uh, in our program, the p-value is uh, actually used Fisher's exact method. So Fisher's method actually uh, considers a hypergeometric distribution. That's it for today. I hope it was useful for you uh, to understand odds ratio, confidence interval for odds ratio and p-value. As you know, uh, considering 5% significance level, uh, we can reject neural hypothesis. So it means that odds ratio, this one, 2.04, is statistically significant. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.